out tonight to survey for tiger salamander egg masses. And the, the group behind is meandering through a, a series of created pools. Right now, it looks like just one big lake but there are impressions throughout this complex that are uh, deep, even in really dry years. So with all the rain and snow that we've had this winter, this is you know, a, a very wet complex. Tiger salamander is a species that ranges from like around the Midwest up to Long Island. So that is the farthest Northeast population. Here in New Jersey, we're right behind them. There are a few populations in Delaware and Maryland and Virginia. And so we're this kind of disjunct Northeast range extent for the species. New Jersey, we have somewhere around 15 known pool complexes that we have confirmed breeding at. And so most of the surveying that we do for tiger salamanders is you know, to go out and look for egg masses. We like to come out at night the salamanders breed in the evening, and so you're more apt to see adults. This complex has had breeding in it since the beginning of December. Tiger salamanders will lay like a clump of like, like a gelatin almost, and it'll have about 50 egg masses in it. And when it's newer, it's much smaller. It'll have a bunch of black dots. As it absorbs water, it gets larger. As the larvae develop, you'll see their bodies start outlining, and then you'll actually see them swimming around inside the eggs uh, before they're about ready to hatch. It seems like you know this site here that we've done management at, some of the others that are on protected lands have been performing well. We did take 10 egg masses from this site just for genetics, and then we've pulled them from some of the other sites that we are concerned that we'll lose to saltwater inundation or that we'll lose to sea level rise by overwash. We're trying to provide connectivity to some of these other sites further north in Cumberland County. Kind of feeds into our whole change, connecting habitat across New Jersey. You know, we've always been trying to connect the dots along here so that things can move out as sea level rises, but you know, if we've got some really well-established populations on, on other preserved lands, then you know, you, their chance of persistence into the future is much better.